Now, we'll explore switch statements. Here I've defined x equals 0 0.5. I'm calling switch and then the variable x. x is the variable that we'll be switching on. I have two cases here where this would be x is equal to 1 and this case would be x is equal to 0 0.5. If both of these cases are not true, then we drop down to the otherwise, and we'll display that x is something else. And of course we have our end. If we run this, we know logically that x equals 0 0.5, which will trigger this second case and display that x is exactly 0 0.5. If we run this, here we see just as we expect, and the script continues afterwards. If we change this to say 50 and run this, well, case one isn't true, case two isn't true, so we drop into the otherwise category, x is something else. This next one is fun. I start with a user input of a string, and it asks us, what city are you in? That location will be saved into the location variable, and we're going to switch on that location. Here, I've stored multiple values for each case, and we do this using the cell array with the curly braces on either side of the values that we want to occur for each case. Here, if I were to say New York, Los Angeles, or Chicago, we'd get you're in the US as our output. Similarly, for some cities in Germany and for some cities in India. If we type Berlin and run this, we'll see that it knows we're in Germany. Another example, we can say we're in Paris. It doesn't know where we are, because it checks all these cases and we have an otherwise that we drop down into as well that says we don't know where we are. Of course, these lists are not exhaustive. There are many more than just three cities in each of these countries. But the point here is that you can store multiple values using a cell array for each case. You could also continue to do a plethora of cases here, that's the power of these switch statements. You can use cases instead of doing the continuous if, else if, and else statements that you have when you write if statements. That covers the basics for switch statements. I'm dreaming of a switch statement